Hi, welcome back to another video. Uh, my name is Job and I'm in the process of restoring a, a 52 year old uh, harbor tanker into a, a liverboard tugboat. Uh, this video I'll be working on, uh, on preparing the front fuel tank where I'm sitting in right now uh, for pouring ballast. I plan to put cement ballast in here but before I need to well, before I can do that, I need to uh, fix up some holes that are in here from corrosion. But uh, first, let me give a brief explanation of the boat and uh, why I need to fix up this tank. So, I made a small drawing of my boat Omala. She's 11 and a half meters long by 4 meters wide, and she had the capacity to carry around 40,000 liters of diesel in uh, all these tanks. The areas that are marked in white are not actually fuel tanks. This here is the engine room and this is an old cargo room for storing supplies. Uh, we're sitting right now in this room and I cut off half of the bulkhead connecting it to the front fuel tank. And I need to ballast this down to get it more stable in the water. But all these tanks used to be uh, used for storage of fuel. So in, in this video I'm going to prepare this tank by doing a little bit of welding on some spots that have corrosion. And then uh, hopefully we're going to be pouring some cement in there. So I just had a visit from my friend Harald, who has a 112 year old tugboat here also in the harbor that, that he lives on. And he had a look at the, the spots that I'm a little bit worried about, these corrosion spots. And uh, yeah, I've started doing a little bit of doubling from the inside. It's probably way overkill, but uh, I'm a little bit nervous about these spots. So what we came up with together is that probably I'm gonna, the worst spots I'm gonna make a doubler on, on the inside and then uh, later on weld on some rebar and then uh, cover this in like a, a thick layer of like four or five centimeters of, uh, of cement as well uh, and then he said you would never have to worry about it again uh, my best guess is that some places there's like five or six millimeter left or maybe a bit less um, and if it turns out in the future that it really screws up and it, it starts to corrode, which I doubt, I don't think it will, I can always put a doubler on the outside and weld that onto the boat. So for now I'm going to stick doing a few doublers uh, on the inside and uh, cover it in cement in the future. So yeah, let's see how it goes.
So I spent uh, like half a day taking some measurements with, uh, with an ultrasonic probe that I uh, could borrow from a friend because I was still a little bit on edge about what was going on down there and uh, the worst place I've found so far in like very deep gouges of corrosion is about 5.2 millimeter what is left and uh, I think originally like I've been doing some other measurements on the hull and I think the bottom plating in the front tank started in, in 10 millimeters and followed up by 8 and then where it transitions from uh, from the bottom to the, the vertical sides, it's only 6 millimeter. And it's in those plating, actually exactly where I want the waterline to be, it's, it's the thinnest. But still, I mean, there's uh, Dutch pleasure boats being built in 5 millimeter, uh, and they last many, many years. So uh, I'm not going to worry about it, I think. I, I've did a little bit of pad welding on some of the worst spots, but I think it hasn't... Yeah, if I fill it with cement on the back, then uh, there should be no problem whatsoever. So that's what I'm going to do now. Actually, before I can fill it with cement, uh, I need to do something else. I've been uh, talking to several people in the harbor that have like big old boats and all kinds of stuff on how to bestly put ballast in the boat if it is cement. And they say you first should paint it with very thin cement on the brush, almost like, uh, like painting. You give it several coats of that on the bare steel if you have degreased it well. And then the cement will stick really well to the steel like a thin layer and once that is cured like after several days you can actually pour the ballast in it because if you pour the ballast right away in a bare steel hull it might risk not not sealing that well with the steel uh, and getting water intrusions and all kinds of stuff so first i'm gonna paint the inside and uh, see if that wants to stick and then uh, in some days i will be able to pour the rest of the, the cement i think probably around four or five hundred kilos that's the plan so yeah